Hello, Chris from Channel X here. Delighted to be joined by Michaela from Alibaba.com, um, Head of Marketing for the EU, to talk about business-to-business uh, -business international trade and opportunities for European businesses of all size and find out more about how B2B marketplaces are an essential part of today's um, global trade landscape. So welcome, Michaela. How are you? I'm great, thanks. And thank you for inviting me today to share more about the opportunities that local SMEs can find on Alibaba.com and on digital marketplaces nowadays. Just for those that don't know Alibaba so well, can you talk us through the Alibaba.com offer and talk about how it can support um, brands sourcing goods, as well as the opposite end, the opportunities for suppliers exporting overseas? Yeah, so definitely I think that the question that brings already into the conversation, the fact that we have both selling and both sourcing already is describing how Alibaba.com operates as a marketplace, right? So we do have small and medium businesses that have their offer and have their brands and have their brand nature. And on the, on the marketplace, what actually occurs is the opportunity for them to export their goods globally. So this means Actually, when I say globally, I really mean global. And I like to underline this aspect because definitely uh, the majority of the businesses that uh, join Alibaba.com have the opportunity to reach out to markets, which are 200 countries nowadays on the platform, which obviously it's wide. It's an immense opportunity for them. Uh, and it's markets that are pretty diverse in terms of language and in terms, obviously, of demand. And at the same time, we've got on the other side then the buyers, so the opportunity for small and medium businesses to actually source for their own company products, which are products that are finalized, which are products that can be customized, which are product parts that can be a part of their offering. So I think that we have got the two souls uh, of commerce, which actually meet on our marketplace. So we could definitely define it as a sort of open trade show, which is open 24 hours a day. And on it, you, you always have the demand and the offer and the two souls meeting on the marketplace, making sure that there can be this business open 24-7. And I think most people are familiar with marketplaces from a sort of business to consumer perspective. We, we've, all, we've all shopped on a marketplace. But what are the differences when we're talking business to business trade? What what are business buyers looking for um, that 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 suppliers can can help support? Yes. So I also want to um, add a, a detail on this. So. Um, as specifically, um, when we talk about buyers nowadays and when we talk about the UK market, it's definitely uh, a key market for, for, for Alibaba.com. So we had the opportunity to deep dive on what's this demand and what actually does it mean for buyers when they are on Alibaba.com and they're looking for a specific product. So definitely what, what is uh, the current need is to diversify the opportunities for their business. So what does it mean? It means to have the opportunity to reach out at an international level on a marketplace and be capable of reaching out to suppliers that are globally displayed that then can give to them the opportunity to source from multiple uh, countries and multiple uh, levels of cost, multiple levels of efficiency. So definitely, I would say that this is the first aspect. So when it comes to demand from uh, UK buyers, it means to diversify the opportunities. And as you were mentioning, this is this is, is, is very peculiar when it comes to what is B2B and what is B2C marketplace and how they operate, right? Because when you would have a B2B uh, kind of interaction, then this brings a lot onto the table. So we said international, we definitely say that it's diversified. We say that it is time uh, effective, uh, meaning that the overall marketplace, Alibaba.com, offers a sort uh, of set of tech tools which enables uh, the or UK buyers to make 
their choices in an easy way, in a digitized way. And this is definitely something that we've seen at a local level that it is essential because nowadays uh, the, the overall effectiveness is also measured on time, it's measured on cost effectiveness, and obviously it's finally measured also on quality of the final end product, which is uh, offered on the overall uh, platform. So definitely the opportunities are wide. Uh, for 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 the buyers on the platform, and definitely it responds to key needs that we have seen that have emerged quite recently. This is really interesting. And um, what what I'd like to talk about is what are some of the challenges um, faced by UK business to business buyers um, that perhaps weren't here in the past but also to um, ask you about the opportunities for suppliers on what type of products are the B2B buyers looking for? Are they looking for kind of paper and office furniture to run their business? Are they looking for components for manufacturing? Or are they perhaps looking for finished products maybe to have customised with their brand that they, they can just immediately sell? So two questions really. Um, the challenges for B2B buyers and then what are the B2B um, buyers looking for, which hopefully will tweak the interest of, of suppliers and make them want to sell on alibaba.com? Yes, so when it comes to the challenges, these are definitely mirroring uh, the overall uh, challenges which the SMEs are facing due to the recent years that uh, we've undergo. So from uh, the overall disruption of supply chain, which is the result of recent uh, years, so COVID and then Brexit, and all of this has impacted small and medium businesses in terms of raise of costs, and again, in terms of how they can actually source their products in a way that for them it is reliable, it is efficient, and at the end of the day, it gives them the opportunity to actually run their businesses effectively as they were before, but definitely in a new way. So um, these overall challenges at Alibaba.com, we were able uh, to translate them into actual opportunities for small and medium businesses who source. So what does it mean? It means to actually offer them an overall infrastructure that can support them in overcoming these different challenges. So starting from having the opportunity to diversify the overall um, range of products that they can source and diversify the suppliers from them that, from which they can actually source. So this is an essential piece because if you think about it before, previously, uh, the norm was actually to probably rely just on a list of suppliers. And if on one side this meant you know, that uh, it, it was sure, it was reliable, but at the same time, it didn't open up to the opportunity of probably have uh, more cost-effective options or even uh, different kind of customizable options. So this overall disruption is, again, an opportunity that then can be found on the marketplace when it comes to diversification. And at the same time, the level of trust, which again, as there is the challenge nowadays, the small and medium businesses in the UK have uh, a, a level of um, mistrust towards uh, the overall situation. The fact that Alibaba.com can definitely reassure them with an overall umbrella offer, which it is the trade assurance, which we recently launched, which offers them the opportunity to have an end-to-end overall support from logistics from payments this is definitely a reassure them a reassurance for them to make business on the platform and then at the very end what i was mentioning the fact of having a challenge which is related to how the business is conducted to the overall disruption of supply chain is then met with a series of tech tools which can then support on the different aspects so if before there was the much more opportunities and much more budgets to travel probably around and go to trade shows and, and actually you know like have much more uh, openness to have this kind of approach definitely because there were more resources so now we can definitely have the opportunity of having uh, an overall virtual uh, uh, tour of factories uh, at a global level and find that specific product and then again 
have the opportunity to interact uh, by overall translating tools, which makes it easier for buyers to then source that product which they really need onto different kind of other tech tools, which are, for example, RFQs, which give the opportunity to buyers to actually uh, display and show uh, which are the products that they are looking for, the need for, and then immediately have uh, on the other side this demand, which is met by a supply from a seller on the other side of the platform, which can immediately respond. And so this overall, uh, let's say, slowing down of the overall uh, supply chain is actually then uh, supported in coming back to a natural and even faster approach thanks to these tech tools, which on one side, again, they are supporting efficiently, efficiently on operations, but at the same time, they're also supporting from the opportunity of giving more, more visibility on which is the offer that there is on the other hand. And going back to the second question, so what is and what are the different categories that buyers are looking yeah. in the UK on Alibaba.com? So this is, this is very interesting for us to see that, of course, there is uh, the demand for what you were mentioning. So for products which could then fall under the bucket of products that are sourced for office and for all of these um, specific uh, requests, so papers, components, etc. But what it is definitely relevant for us to see, it is, first of all, that UK demand at today represents uh, the, one of the biggest opportunities for Alibaba.com. So again, UK represents a huge market. Uh, and this is because of the demand driven by certain categories, categories that go from um, electronics, that go from sports, that go from home and, and entertainment and different key categories, which then are actually meeting what is the opportunity for them to have uh, these categories exploited to make business for them. And in, in, um, in, in a more detailed approach, what does it mean? It means that uh, we see that UK buyers are looking for finalized products. They're looking for products that uh, are customized and they're looking for components. So also for parts which can then uh, be applied uh, to, their, to their final product. To give you an example also, uh, a concrete example, um, we had um, a, a buyer which actually holds a startup company and was looking uh, for components to finalize its sustainable uh, overall uh, jacket garment product uh, to go out to the market. And this was actually um, useful for the startup to finalize its overall R&D uh, process uh, to include uh, the, the platform and the marketplace to then find uh, a component for its overall final product. And this is just one of this is just one example. But we do have many other examples of companies that are looking for these kind of products, which then can be used uh, at their service. Yeah, and I think it, something else you've mentioned that's really interesting is um, you, you mentioned this company was looking for sustainable products. But I think with the, the the pandemic, I think people's attitudes have changed enormously. Like you said, whereas before you just jump on a plane and go and do a factory tour, it's much more sustainable to be able to use these tech tools and uh, fill out the requests for information, uh, do a virtual uh, factory tour, and not just more sustainable, but also a lot faster to get to the end result as well. Yeah. So how do online marketplaces help businesses, and especially for small and medium-sized enterprises, um, to unlock the export, export opportunity <clears throat> and actually sell their products globally? Yes, so here we have got the other side of the coin, right? So when, we, when we're talking about the sellers and we're talking about uh, UK small and medium businesses and the opportunity that they actually have on marketplaces like Alibaba.com. And to answer this question, um, I, would, uh, I would definitely refer to a recent um, research that we have conducted on overall 3,000 companies that are sitting in, in, in Europe. And what is uh, relevant for us to see is definitely that nowadays out of uh, these company approximately 
50% uh, of the businesses conducted by these companies are actually uh, related to exporting. So this is huge. It's massive. It means that there is a big opportunity for small and medium businesses to actually export their goods, to export their brand and to have it visible at a local standpoint. And uh, I think this is relevant, of course, for exporting, but it's also relevant when it comes to brand visibility. So having an actual window to the world uh, when it comes to your local products and to your local expertise, it definitely amplifies uh, the opportunities, both in terms of the end result, because obviously all the companies that are on Alibaba.com, they're willing and they want to finalize their exporting actions. But at the same time, they want to have their brand going out global and reaching out to as much buyers as possible to diversify also for them the opportunities. And another aspect which is definitely important, uh, which here it is, let's say, the opportunity uh, for the small and medium businesses who are looking to do export, is the fact that only actually 23% of these companies are relying on marketplaces nowadays to export. And so going back to what we were saying before, so all the different tech tools that there are on Alibaba.com, all the different uh, numbers that the platform has. So 200 countries, we have got 500,000 buyers uh, that are actually engaging every day with sellers on the platform. This offers a massive opportunity, both in terms of visibility for these products and also in terms of opportunities that they can have to engage with potential buyers in a new, with using and leveraging a, a new tool like Alibaba.com Marketplace. And I think that in this 23% relies uh, the overall um, energy uh, where small and medium businesses in the UK can actually uh, invest to have the opportunity to grow using um, this kind of, of tools like marketplace like Alibaba.com. And also another relevant aspect is definitely related to the fact that um, companies nowadays who actually export they see their overall businesses changing, not only from size, so they have the opportunity to hire more uh, headcounts, they also have the opportunity to actually see their overall business grow in terms of innovation. So as we were mentioning before, um, once you have the opportunity to leverage tech tools, which obviously are not in your normal day-to-day -day businesses, because majority of businesses maybe are not completely digitized, right? So this offers them the opportunity to also digitize their company and digitize and support and giving the tools to the people that are working in the company and help them to grow together. So importantly, if I'm an SME wanting to sell globally or internationally, how, once I've got my products listed on Alibaba, do I make um, my business accessible through these tech tools? So, for instance, if someone said, OK, I want to do a factory tour, how do, how do I make my business accessible for, for factory tools and to use, make all of the other tech tools available for buyers? So I think that I, on this, uh, it's important always to remember that it is not like a uh, one day uh, solution, right? So it's always important when we talk about tech, when we talk about digital, that there is a level of energies and there is a level also of time that needs to be uh, implemented when using the platform. So, and I think this is important because we do have uh, many uh, small and medium businesses that join our platform and they immediately think that they're going to open the window on Alibaba.com and the next day they're going to receive uh, thousands of offers for their products. And this is not realistic in any uh, or with any digital tool that, that, that actually small and medium businesses can use. And I think it's also uh, from an Alibaba.com perspective, uh, the, the way that we want to help uh, small and medium businesses to grow along with us. So this means that we are, let's say, on a journey of digitizing their businesses and 
from the day in which they actually set up their window, they upload all the different products, they upload all the different pictures of their products, they uh, insert all the information of their products. And this takes time, right? So th this oh, it is yeah. energy consuming. And at the end of this, then there is the overall efforts of making this machine work. So obviously using the overall back end tools to make sure that uh, the window can be optimized using the keywords so that the overall uh, products can be visible to more and more um, to more and more buyers and definitely also participating to the overall events that they're occurring on the platform, which we have uh, also at a vertical level, but also at yearly level so doing all this action participating to these events then automatically gives the opportunity then to access these tools like what i was mentioning before so opening up for example during an event like super september and giving uh, the the opportunities to sellers to then display their products during uh, live streams and so engaging with buyers in what would be a normal interaction to show the products and immediately receive some, some, some quotation for their products. So again, it's a lot of things on the table, but it's a lot of opportunities for these companies to, again, be globalized and have access to international opportunities. Fantastic. And finally, I guess the question I should ask is, um, for a business that wants to get started with Alibaba and unlock these uh, 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 cross-border selling opportunities, where do they go to get started in their export journey with Alibaba? Um, do they just go and sign up on the platform or should they approach someone at Alibaba and have a conversation first? Because obviously B2B is a little bit different than maybe B2C they've done before. Um, where, what's the best way to get get started the initial steps to make so initial steps are definitely uh, for a small and medium business first of all uh, to get in contact either with alibaba.com team or with partners that are displayed at a local level on uh, the overall um, ground so what does it mean it means that actually uh, an overall uh, small and medium business can have the opportunity to open their mini site and then go through the different phases of what we call the honeymoon phase so it means the overall setup of the of the mini site and actually have support from the overall team, which is sitting locally here at a European level and can give guidance and can give overall assistance when it comes to the overall steps. Uh, and obviously uh, can rely also on partners that we do have in UK. I think one, one good example that, that I can share, it's definitely from a Scotland based company, uh, which um, it's called Natural Food and Bev Company. And, uh, this kind of business we have seen that in recent times from its overall opening of the mini site, its overall uh, uploading of the different product pages then has seen a lot of demand from different markets and different regions coming from Germany. So coming Europe from Europe, because obviously we need to remember that a lot of uh, demand uh, from European exporting and importing, it's actually European based, right? But also at a global level, so countries like Japan. So I think this is a good example of showing how a UK business can open its store. Uh, and this happened very recently, relying on the overall support from the local team and at the same time seeing in a couple of months how the demand of its product was actually increasing and giving more opportunities to uh, export these goods across the globe. Fantastic. So, um... Uh, local partners um, uh, that Alibaba will work with, ha ha where would I go to find those um, or where's my best contact at Alibaba? Yes. So on this, as we do have um, overall uh, different online uh, points of contact, so definitely reaching out to the current 
uh, overall contacts that we do have and that are actually uh, public and that can be found on the overall domain. It's definitely first step. And then obviously like being involved in the different uh, new partnerships which we are signing lately uh, and being obviously involved in how we are slowly um, developing partnership on the overall UK ground, it's definitely something that can be useful for small and medium businesses to understand how to get in contact. But again, the first step, it's obviously uh, inserting the overall information, getting in contact with the team, which can be done on the overall platform. And then the next steps would definitely follow in, an, an, in a way uh, for which the small and medium business can have the support and can have uh, the trust of following this process along uh, with, with the team who's sitting at a European local level. Fantastic. Um, Michaela, I want to thank you so much for your insights today. Um, huge business to business opportunities for SMEs in the UK to export globally. And also, if you're a business to business buyer, um, log on to alibaba.com and, and, and start using that for, for, for purchasing. Um, but Michaela, thank you so much for your time today. Thanks a lot, Chris. It was a pleasure. And uh, we stay obviously uh, open for any question and for any uh, opportunity that may arise. So also uh, opening up uh, on this. So in case there are any questions or follow-ups, the overall local team is always open to support small and medium businesses to grow. Thank you. Thank you.